Well, the first day was um, a, quite a, uh, a great learning experience in that sense because, um, in fact, you know, I've been teaching uh, a couple of years, and um, because, but this is the first time I'm teaching a group of um, um, so-called disadvantaged children. Um, so every one of them, has, uh, they bring with them different um, personality, different character, and um, but I think at the end of the day, my job is very simple. You know, as educators, is to get the kids um, um, to enjoy themselves, to, to just let themselves, let them be able to express themselves, you know, and we be able to speak up, you know. On the first day, we have a couple of kids, in fact, most of them were very quiet, and, and to my surprise, they couldn't even um, say their own name, or even let alone write the names. Um, but I'm very glad, you know, um, it's a teamwork uh, effort. At the end of the day, today's graduation, it's quite a, it's very exciting to see all of them really enjoying themselves, um, team spirit, smiling and enjoying learning that's more important because when, once a kid picks up the, the, the ability to learn and want to learn then once they leave the class um, the learning doesn't end there they will go on to learn more things and hopefully they will come back and continue to, to, to perhaps pick up more knowledge along the way and find their own gift um, perhaps through performance or uh, to excel in their studies and also to believe in themselves that's very important to believe that anything is possible um, it doesn't matter what sort of background you come from, and uh, you can be someone, and uh, people like you. And I can see all of them, see, there are no fights, right? They're all enjoying themselves and they make great friends. Mm -hmm. So that was really enjoy that. Hey, thank Thanks you. For the privilege. Yeah, thank you. Right, and uh, Faith, right, I mean, you, you helped Donovan. Mm -hmm. Now, um, what were the challenges that you faced? Um, okay, basically, I, I believe that some of them, I mean, they come from uh, you know, underprivileged uh, families, so the exposure to uh, baby English, you know, it's um, it's quite limited. So that that was probably one of the you know um, the initial challenges. But you know, like children, they they have a natural gift, you know, for singing and dancing. And then through these elements, right, uh, we are able to actually bring them. You know, they, they may not be able to converse, but you can actually see those super quiet ones um, that you know who are not even open their mouth. You know, like the first few days, and you see them today. They are actually participating. They are, you know, singing. They are dancing along. I, I think that's really great. Yeah. So I, I guess, like, you know, this element of fun, uh, enjoyment, you know, performance through song and dance and things like that, that really helped to um, bring out, you know, the you know that the children's natural, uh, natural gift. Right. Yeah. Okay. And um, can you point out to me some examples? I mean, you you helped Donovan. I think on the beginning from the first day, second day? A uh, couple of days, yeah. couple of days. Um, some examples of those that you you, you felt really blossomed? Mm, okay. I think I, Chloe was good. Yeah, Chloe. Yeah. What, you know the little girl in the in the ballerina dress? Yeah, I think she was so cute. Yeah. Remember the first day when she had, mm. um, she was very quiet, she was very cute, you know. The kids are amazing, they're so adorable. And, uh, but, we, but we just have to find out why she's quiet. Maybe she's shy, she's mm. trying to um, um, do, they'll just get along because you know, uh, she's still, within a space of strangers in it. but after a while you can see she mm. actually blossomed yeah. and she's smiling she can and, dance and she can actually like you know oh okay she, she knows that she's safe here she knows that oh this is a place for fun and learning yeah that's, right. yeah, that's how she you know she started opening up and then like some of the others would actually be like um, the kids uh, like uh, Nofala you know, the little little, little boy or uh, you know even like um, Akiv Akiv yeah Akiv yeah. was um, I think the whole entire class I think Akiv was the most mm. quiet one, right? Adil, no, Adil, Adil, Adil. Adil. Yeah, Adil. Yeah, they were very, very quiet and very, very reserved. Um, but you can see the last day because you no, know, we, we always encourage them. We always tell them that they are doing well, they are doing good. You know, uh, say like you know, you are such a good boy. You did a fantastic job. And they slowly they, they appreciate. You know, they say, oh, okay, um, I'm safe here. You know, nobody's scolding right, me and things right. like that. And you can see it. You know, like this performance today. They did fantastic. They really did fantastic. It's like really beyond our expectation because we're not expecting them to even, you know, join yeah, in or yeah. And they know how to coordinate. You see, and then that's really good. Yeah. Correct. And he was very quiet. What's the boy? What's his name? Is he even till yesterday he was sitting down on the floor. Yeah. We left him. Afala. Uh, Afala, right? Afala, Afala. Afala, right? He was yeah. um, really quiet. Really quiet boy. boy. Exceptionally quiet. Uh, he kept to himself. Um, but you see, the kids, um, they know the power of observation, right? By using by observing other kids enjoying themselves they want to be part of it so what we did was we just left him alone right we didn't force him mm. right and after a while i said do you want to join us and no 
open and shut or say, okay, I'll come. Simple. Right? No and, 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 and that's simple, amazing. Yeah. You know, he volunteered and today you see everyone participated. Yes, yeah. So that's amazing. That's good, yeah. And um, Macken and of course uh, Jovine, um, they, the natural, the yeah. natural I think they, and also um, they are quite Even gifted. Even girls like Ling Yi, I think she speaks Mandarin at home. Correct, correct, you know, correct. But now she's able to introduce herself in English, you know, and like, you know, say simple things and stuff like that. And she, um, she's very participative when it comes to the dance and stuff like that. Yeah, I think those those kids are really wonderful. And you're very happy mm. and smiling, that sort of yeah. thing. In fact, every morning when they come here, it's um, um, it's it's a very happy feeling to see that they're all here in class. Instead of you know, in fact, the class actually grew. Yeah, it grew. <laughs> the things, you know, more and more people, and um, and every one of them, are, every one of them is special, you know, mm. in their own way. And of course, Mecca and Jovine yeah. and who's that girl? One more girl. Um, oh, she's yeah. Michelle, yeah, Michelle. Eh? Michelle also, very pretty. Yeah. Mm. And uh, see, today they're all doll up. And the good thing I noticed is that the parents are also very cooperative now. Correct. So yeah. because we inform them and say, you know, your kids, every day, I would say in the morning, they'll come, um, they leave the kids here, and then they come pick them up. And then after a while, they notice that the kids, the parents will say, hey, you know, um, you know, my child yeah, is are looking forward to come to your up, class. You know? Right, yeah. So you I know? think that's very really good. Okay, yeah. so they learn about respect, um, about teamwork, about really discipline. A bit discipline. Yeah. Um, and also listening skills, observation skills, kinesthetic, about feeling, about expressing, about you know, observing, smiling, mm. and um, at the end of the day, it's um, just being themselves. Mm. Right. You know? Okay. Thought for new caterpillar and mm. this one, Jalan Kayu. Mm. Can you share with me your thoughts on the children that you have taught? Okay. Uh, overall, the kids are fun to be with, they're fun to teach. Uh, there was a bit of difference between Jalan Kayu and uh, Caterpillar. I thought the, I thought that the Caterpillar students were a little bit more responsive from the get go from day one. Whereas Jalan Kayu, I had to warm, warm up to them, I had to bring them to the whole performance experience. But essentially, with the kids, four to seven year old kids, you have to be uh, performance based, you have to have activity in all your lessons. It can't just be words on a, a white, whiteboard like this. You have to make the words come alive, get them to uh, jump around, run around if necessary, get them to perform, get them to uh, have activities be, uh, behind all the, all the theory lessons that they do. But overall, uh, like I was saying, uh, Caterpillar kids, they were a bit more responsive from the get-go. Jan uh, Kayu had to, had to warm up to them, but in the end, they all came together to do great performances, I think. And the children, um, um, share with me your thoughts about the children. Are they any different from well, the children in schools you know, mm. that you have taught? Mm. I think uh, the kids here, they are a bit more reserved. Uh, I'm not sure whether it's because uh, they, they haven't been exposed or they're a bit young. Uh, once again, uh, these two experiences were my first time uh, working with kids uh, these, this young, four to seven year old kids. Uh, they were a bit reserved, they had to be brought out of their shell. But once they were brought out of their shell, they, they, were, they were screaming, shouting, they, were, they, were, they learned very quickly. Uh, they absorb things really quickly, really fast. Like they say, the mind is a sponge at this, at this age. So they absorb things very fast, really quickly, and it was a pleasure teaching them. Uh, any experience you can share, like uh, one of your most pleasant experience with the kids? Uh, I think the, the appreciation and the gratitude they show to you after the whole thing is done, they can be as naughty as little devils in, the, in class, but uh, at the end of it all, they want to try and they want to succeed. And you can see the, the drive and the motivation in them, uh, which is very, very uh, inspiring, very rewarding. Because uh, when, you, when you think of when you see kids and they're always running around and being rowdy, you think, oh, how am I going to control them? Will I ever be able to teach them anything? At the end of the, end of the 10, 10 lessons that we have, they, they come away with something uh, that you can, you can see the, 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 the growth, the, 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 the progress they have made. Uh, you can see what they have learned. And, uh, and it's the satisfaction, basically, uh, of, uh, of them uh, uh, and the reward, the reward of them coming to you and saying, thank you, teacher, for what you have done. And uh, thank you for showing us this and saying, just simply saying bye bye and thank you when they couldn't even say that before. And the parents? And the parents also. Share? The parents are very supportive. They, they always come down in the mornings, drop their kids off, uh, uh, and uh, always say hi to me and all that. But they're always interested in what their kids are doing. I think today's, today's performance, we had a performance earlier, and parents showed up uh, to, to support their kids and all that. So definitely, parent support is there. Uh, and I think with that, uh, kids will have a good future, a bright future. All right, thank you then. Uh, they are actually a very uh, good group of children. They are uh, willing to participate and they are very vocal. Uh, they are also quite... Uh, uh, they, are, uh, they are quite uh, expressive and they do, uh, they do uh, 
they are quite close uh, <laughs> uh, They are participating, but um, the thing is that they were lacking. What they lacked was somebody to guide them to do how, how to do the stage posture, stage performance posture. But uh, they were very willing to learn, and they have uh, improved quite a lot in these last four days that we have been that have been with them. Uh, I suppose if they were given a time, they do have the potential and they will be able to do much better should they be given the opportunity to uh, have a longer session with them over a period of time. Actually, basically our